Welcome back to our series on building standalone apps with Max. We are running our app right now and should look familiar if you've been following along. Today we're going to talk about code signing. And code signing is the thing you need to do if you want to submit your app to the Mac App Store. So let's take a quick look at what we're up against. Flip over here to um, a web browser. And I've logged into developer.apple.com. If you don't have an account, you'll need to set one up. And once you're logged in here, uh, in order to do the code signing, you're going to need a certificate to do that. So I'll go ahead and click here on the certificates page. And in the meantime, we can go ahead and quit our app. If we scroll up, we can see that right now it's selected iOS. We want the Mac OS. Now it has getting started. Request certificates, upload. We're gonna create a signing request from our Mac. So we'll click that. It'll ask us what type of certificate we need. Do we need it for um, Mac development or do we need it for production? which is for the Mac App Store. And that's the whole purpose of what we're trying to do. So we'll go ahead and say production. And then I can come down here to the bottom and say continue. But before I say continue, I need to read this section here about intermediate certificates because we're not using Xcode. We're gonna to need to have these certificates installed um, in our keychain. So I'm gonna go ahead and say save this file, okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and save this one as well. And then I will say continue. We're gonna be doing a Mac app distribution. I'll say continue again. And now we get to where we can create a certificate signing request and there are directions here about what to do. So I'm going to flip over to the keychain, and then I'm also going to pull up a window um, to look at my downloads so that I can add those two files we just downloaded. We can double click each of them and then they will be added to our keychain. We can come take a look at the certificates um, thing over here, or we can look at all items and sort by date modified to get the newest one. The one that I just added happens to be right here. So with this certificate um, selected, we can go to the keychain, and then we can say request a certificate from a certificate authority. It's important that that um, be selected down um, in the window though. So once I do that, I can come here, I can enter my email address that's associated with my Apple developer account. Leave the name, the instructions over in this window tell us to leave this um, CA email address blank to choose save to disk. And I'm gonna say continue. We're just gonna save this onto the desktop to keep things simple. And we can see that this has shown up on our desktop. Okay, great. Now here at the bottom of the window, we can say continue and we can choose the file and upload it with our certificate signing request. And then we'll say continue. So I clicked it again and now it worked. Um, so now that our certificate is ready, we can download it and it also advises us to back up a copy of it as well. I'll click the download button and say save file. You can see that this now has shown up in our downloads folder. There it is, Mac app certificate. So I will double click this and then it will get added to our keychain as well. And here we can see our certificate the third-party Mac developer application with a bunch of other stuff on it, certificate. 
So that is the first step in all of this, and they offer a, a link for some more information. So that wraps up what we need to do to get the certificates in place. For the actual code signing, we'll need to rebuild our party patcher. So let's go ahead and pull up our party patcher project, and we'll rebuild this application. Switch windows over to the project. And before we actually build this, we're going to take a look at the patcher itself, which is called main. And we have a standalone object in here, somewhere right here. If I double click that, or not double click it, but in fact, open the inspector with a command I. Can't, which doesn't work because I have the menus up here um, enabled for the application. We need the max menus. Now I can do Command I to get the inspector. We have a couple things we want to do. One is that we want to put in the proper identifier for our company or our website. And so we can call this in the case. Um, I work for Cycling74, so I'll put in that as the name of my company, and for my program, this is the Party Patcher. So that's one thing that we can do here. Another thing that we'll need to do is, in order to submit to the App Store, we're not going to be able to have the CEF support enabled. In a previous video, we left that on because we found it was crashing Macs, but we have fixed that bug since. So that's a good reason to make sure that you are up to date on the latest version of Macs. With those two things changed, um, in terms of preferences file, where it saves window positions and things like that, we probably want to give it a, our own name for that as well. We'll go ahead and do that. Having made those changes, I'll save the patcher and come back to the project window. And then we'll go ahead and we will tell it to build our application. Once again, we'll build to the desktop. It's going to be the party patcher application. Click save and then wait a couple minutes while it builds. Okay, so it built. I'll go ahead and quit Max. Then I'll go ahead and fire up a terminal window. I have this terminal window already set to my desktop. And remember, we want to run our party fixer RB script, and that will do some things to um, fix up some of the resources in the party patcher app. So I'll go ahead and say Ruby. I'll drag this file in here to get the path to it. Run that. And then we can test our app. Okay, and it seems to be running just fine. So we'll go ahead and quit the party patcher, and now we are ready to code sign it. So to code sign it, we, at the terminal, run a program called code sign. Assuming we don't know what the arguments are, we can hit enter and get a little bit of assistance. You can see that we want to do something like this here, where we say code sign, dash s and then the identity the identity will be the name of the certificate as it shows up in our keychain um, that we just looked at and then the path is the path to the application so the thing that we'll do then is we can say code sign dash s so let's switch to the keychain application here's our certificate we want to use for code signing so I will copy this and come over here and paste that in. And then we'll want the path to our application. So we can just drag our application in like that and we'll hit enter. Because it's accessing the keychain, we have to enter the password for our login to the computer. And now in theory, this should be 
code signed. If we want to double check that it's code signed properly, we can run this code sign dash V, which the assistance tells us means to verify. So if I say code sign dash V, and then we'll do the path to the app. It returned saying there's nothing wrong. That is wonderful. Another um, application we could use, it's a third party application, is called this RB App Checker Lite. This is a free app you can get from the App Store, and it basically is doing something similar to this code sign dash V, but with a graphical application. So we can uh, drop our app on here, and we can get a um, more detailed report. This is all just a way to confirm that we can, in fact, submit this app to the App Store now. We may not actually be ready to submit the app to the App Store. There's still a lot of polish that we'd like to um, do with this application. But that's the basic process. One thing we can do now as well is we can automate this code signing by copying this line and adding it to our Ruby script. So now every time we run the Party Patcher script, it will also code sign the application. If you need a refresher on this, this um, creating the script was something we did earlier in the series. So I hope that's helpful and demystifies the code signing experience. Uh, we'll have a couple of links on the website to point you to additional resources. Have fun and happy patching.